Welcome. Welcome in uh, my cabinet of uh, weights. Especially this one brings much to the table. A half full canister of uh, window cleaner for cars. The only thing is I don't own a car. I don't even own a license to drive. But hell. I need to pour more uh, concrete feet to get rid of this uh, all this sand and stuff. Also, this one is for sale. For uh, I don't know. It's a vacuum pump. Um, it's typical me. I bought a vacuum pump. It wasn't doing as I uh, wanted. I did buy all the accessories and I bought the muffler and I bought some new o-rings that are here and here and a new filter holder, a new filter I push a new um, rings to uh, hold the vacuum Hey, what? Whew, she is not messing about See if I can pick her up. I don't think so. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Usually she wants to see what I'm doing and then she's quiet. Hey, Puss? Yeah, what's all this? <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, it uh, it doesn't work as I wanted to. It doesn't uh, get to the zero point minus zero point eight bar. It reaches only zero point six because um, I think the previous owner fucked it up. Uh, I didn't uh, replace the vein, so that might help. But I'm really not interesting in uh, interested in replacing the veins. And then I come to the conclusion that it still does 0 0.6 minus 0 0.6 bar vacuum. But it is a, a quite nice weight to um, when gluing. That's the only thing. Thank God I paid so much money for it. But uh, it's for sale, so if you're not looking for an absolute vacuum, but want a vacuum for uh, maybe. Um, Vineering or something, you can get the motor with all the new crap. I even have a valve for uh, for this plastic bag, so you can vacuum out the air and you can vine there really nicely. But uh, yeah, one seventy-five. That's what I want. <laughs> then I still lose a lot of money, but it's that weight as you can see here, because I never used it. Hmm? Puss? Jesus Christ, this thing weighs so much. I think it's almost... It's it's around the same weight as a whole bag of sand, I think. Something around 30 kilos or so. At Puss, we want to look uh, underneath you. There's some stuff you're sitting on. Hmm, Puss? Can you not here and sit there? No. Well, uh, I glued this today and uh, my check to see if the epoxy is dry, you usually have a beaker of some sort uh, with leftover glue and uh, you know, if it does this, then you quite, well, you're sure it's hardened. Because it tends to be like rubbery soft for a very long time before it really uh, hard hardens. And, uh, oh.
made some uh, new panels as you can see and they're smaller so they're not they're actually uh, tiny guns they're almost the same setup except uh, well they're smaller smaller and uh, dirty it's gonna be a mid-range tweeter thing and I'm really curious because the size is quite appealing you know a uh, small panel sitting on a yeah you know, I like I like the size might need to send them a little bit did you see how easy that went off there was epoxy with wood doesn't stick to uh, garbage bags at all Puss. This one is uh, on request, actually. So, uh, and I was wondering uh, about smaller panels, not too small, uh, as well. So, oh, they look quite nice. You should use black HPL next time because then I don't have to spray it again. But the black HPL I got is really nice looking. Really nice looking. It's new and it was really, really expensive. So I kind of hesitate to saw this kind of pieces out of it. Especially with the saw I got. It's a very rough saw used for uh, wood. <laughs> I should get a new saw blade to uh, do this properly. I mean it works but it's not it's not really nice and the sound is terrible. What is your problem Puss? What's your problem Pussy Cat? Hmm? She's quite annoying every now and then. I think she's a nice pussycat, but the amount of attention she needs is quite terrible. Eh? Okay, I'll give her something to eat, I guess. Although she doesn't need it, of course. She's quite thick or heavy or fat. I actually um, did some measurements today. Um, what I did was um, play a sweep and then attach a magnet on front of the big guns uh, panels to see what happens when you make the panel smaller actually because I was making the smaller panels and I wondered how low I would get in resonance and um, yeah of course this is only valid if I use the same tension so if I stretch it the same as I did for these panels then this would come uh, should come close proof is in the pudding but so this is actually uh, with without the tweeter part so it is already smaller it is 16.6 centimeters and then the resonance is 97 uh, 79 and then I um, there's eventually a centimeter less every time and you can see here quite clearly what happens sort of so it's funny I think if I look here for instance I could look the, at the peaks but uh, there is a problem uh, if you go smaller and smaller um, here it becomes kind of two resonances I mean 
the place where you put the magnet and you got the left side and the right side then it becomes two resonances so it's not as clear I should have well I did eventually put some more magnets on there to uh, keep the other part of the membrane uh, quiet so to speak but this is kind of uh, an idea of where the resonance will um, will be. So if my panel was only 16.6 uh, .6 centimeters wide, it would be uh, 79. This panel I made now is around 15, so it should be around somewhere 83, well 85 something like that, 85 hertz. And well we'll see hopefully it, it it will because it's a nice way to see what you're gonna get if someone says or me if I say well I think 12 centimeters is nice but uh, what is the lowest frequency we can uh, reproduce then well we should look at the green line that will be around well 110 or something maybe a little bit higher even because this is uh, sort of two resonances together I think so probably a slightly higher resonance yeah 110 around 110 so uh, and also if you uh, up the tension it will uh, benefit the high frequency response so if I look at the 15 centimeters wide membrane <coughs> it has a resonance of 83 right now and my goal was around 100 so I got some space to tension it a little bit higher and uh, hopefully the high frequency will uh, benefit from that so uh, yeah this is uh, definitely uh, something I'm gonna keep around because there's I searched around for drum heads and such if I can if there is some sort of logic well probably there is but I couldn't find it and uh, in, in how big you make the membrane and what the resonance will be couldn't find a, a good solution for that so this is a well my own solution for that I can at least look it up and see where it's gonna be sort of although I am gonna choose a higher uh, tension on the foil but I know if I take the same tension it should end up around 84, 85 I guess something like that so let's make it between 80 and 90 and then I got 10 Hertz to um, over tension it so I'm gonna try to do that so yeah